It is Saturday morning and we are officially a few days into moving into the house for the first time. We've pretty much just been cleaning and organizing and just getting this to a place where we feel comfortable painting and eventually bringing in furniture probably later next week. But I thought I would just start this little vlog so I could keep you guys updated on some of the home projects that we've got going on. Like I said, we finished out cleaning I think yesterday or the day before. We just did a whole deep clean of the entire place and then we went and grabbed more stuff to finally bring it back into the home. So we are slowly working on furnishing this place and the first area we did end up doing was the bedroom. This is a little bit temporary I think because we do have to go back in and paint it probably within the next few weeks or so but I did want to show you guys how it came out so we're going to be doing a little tour of that today and then I also want to show you guys some of the upgrades I did to the bathroom already. Not really upgrades but just like styling it in a certain way. I have wanted a bathroom like this for so so long so I'm so excited to finally be able to get in there, put my plants in there and really just make it into a little oasis for myself so I'm excited to show you guys that and then I do have some packages coming today just of stuff that I want to just kind of build for the house and stuff. So I think I have a little like shoe rack thing that we're going to be putting near the front door. And then I also know that I have a couple different blackout curtains that I wanted to test out. So I'll show you guys kind of how that's going. But yeah, I thought this would be a fun way to show you guys some of the things that we're doing the first week in this new home. Because like I said, I am so incredibly excited about it. And I really just want to update you guys on everything that we've got going on. Here's what the bedroom's looking like. It pretty much came out exactly like what I had pictured in my brain. I've got a carpet down here that was a originally under the bed back at the loft. And then we did end up getting a bed frame and then a five inch mattress. We tried sleeping on the floor bed that we had set up previously, but it was just a little bit too hard with the floors. At the last place we did have carpeting and then another layer of carpet. And so I think it just added a little bit more cushion. So we did end up going with a five inch mattress and then we have a queen size bed now. So that was another little upgrade. This duvet I've had for forever, but I did end up getting new little cream sheets. And I probably wanna do something else for the duvet cover. I think I'm going to do either a cream color or maybe like a green or something. Now I was so excited about these curtains and I'm really glad that it did kind of come together the way that I was picturing. The only thing is that I think I need to change out the blinds behind them because it's a little bit too dark and I feel like it distracts it from them. But the previous owner already had these cute little leaf curtains and then also like a little curtain holder right here that you can kind of like pull them back onto. So we did end up just keeping those because I did think they were pretty cute and honestly I probably would have bought something like them myself. And so we have the curtains set up to where we can kind of pull it back and then tuck it around that holder. Or we can leave them loose which I kind of prefer I think. Think. Sometimes I feel like it just depends on my mood or maybe how much sunlight we're getting that day. But I've already started to decorate the little windowsill, which I am so happy with. I think it just looks so cute. I'm definitely going to be getting more plants to put in this area. And then I'm probably going to be starting some sort of like little garden out back there. That way it looks a little bit nicer outside the window. And then maybe we can set up some sort of like trellis or something on the block wall just to add to the visual space. And then here is my current nightstand situation. That is a moving box that has all of my mugs currently stored in it, which we will actually probably be unboxing sometime soon because I'm gonna start making my coffee at home pretty soon. Lately, we've just been going out and grabbing coffee just because it's easier to do with everything moving related we've got going on. But I'm excited to finally unbox the rest of my mugs and set them up in like a little coffee corner. On this little nightstand, I have my alarm clock. I got this lamp from Amazon. I actually really like it. It has three different color modes and it's cordless. So you just recharge it with like a USB-C, which I thought that was pretty convenient just to kind of not be able to have cords around. I've also got my little flower tea lamp. I've got the book I'm currently reading and then just another one of my books. This is the Daily Stoic. And then over here, I've got the nail polish that I painted just the other night and then some of my crystals. Over in this corner, I did just set up some of my stuff inside those drawers just for general storage. I've got my chest set, my journal, and then Scrabble, another one of my flower tea lamps, and then my headphones. Obviously, that's going to be tempting and eventually we'll probably have some sort of table or desk. But for now, I think that'll do and it just makes the space feel a little bit more homey. I've got my computer currently on the floor until we can set up a desk space in the office, but this is honestly just what the bedroom is looking like right now. I am so happy with how it came out. I love the look of these curtains. The only thing is that the blinds, like I mentioned, I think need to just be a different color. But once we fix that, 
front. I think it'll be a super light and airy room. I also have to remember to check back in with you guys around sunset because the sun that this room gets maybe around five or six o'clock is seriously so pretty. The room pretty much just turns completely golden. So I definitely am gonna have to show you guys how that looks because it is super, super pretty. Heading into my bathroom, there were a couple of things that I've added since I've last shown you guys. I did bring over my diffuser, a couple of different jewelry boxes, and then I did, of course, add more of my plants. This tub has me so excited. I haven't had a tub since I was maybe 10 years old, and so the thought of doing like a really relaxing Sunday night bath in here is just getting me so excited for it. I've got another beautiful windowsill that I'm just going to line it with more plants and probably stones and rocks and crystals. And then I am thinking of putting maybe a mirror or some sorts here. I have a whole idea of what I want it to look like in my head and I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. But I do think I'm gonna try to thrift something or find something at a estate sale just to continue decorating with kind of things that are more my style. Near the sink, I just kind of put my makeup brushes in that little container and my toothbrush. And then I've got this cute little jewelry box that I found at an estate sale a few weeks ago. And then I've got my essential oils in there for my diffuser. My boyfriend just put up a shelf for me above the shower head that way I could kind of drape my plants around it and I'm just in love with how that turned out I think it looks super super cool and I definitely think I'm gonna need to add another plant of some sorts up there just to make it a little bit more even but I love the look of that and that just makes my showers feel that much more magical here is the bath mat we got I just got it off of Amazon there was a bunch of different colors and I liked the little tassels at the end of it I was gonna get a green one but then I thought that blue might just kind of complement the space a little bit better and I'm definitely glad that I did go with that color. I feel like the bathroom just feels so serene and relaxing and I'm just in love with how it is turning out. And the last thing I want to show you guys are these little lace curtains. I will insert some clips pretty soon of us putting them up, but I am really, really happy with how these look. I think I'm gonna end up moving them to the art room just because we do have blackout curtains coming for this specific window. I don't really wanna put blinds on this window, so I thought that blackout curtains might be a better option, but I was really just excited to see how the lace curtains would look in like the house. And so we did just hang them up there just for reference. And then of course, I've got some more plants over here on this windowsill. I think I'm definitely gonna have to work on hanging up a few more of them above the window just so that they start draping down a little bit more. I think that'll be really pretty. And then this plant I am going to put inside of a pot that's a little bit higher so it sits up closer to the top. And then I'm thinking of placing some little plant hooks all the way around this arch and then ideally it'll eventually grow all the way around. I think that that long term will look really really cool. Okay you guys it is the next day. It's finally Sunday. We've been in the house for probably like five or so days now. Everything is finally starting to settle in and things are kind of starting to fall into some sort of a routine as far as like when we're going to bed and when we're waking up and stuff like that. But the one thing that I really want to start working on is slowly unpacking all of the boxes I have. So today I chose one box that I wanted to do and once I finished out a little bit of my work I decided that I was just going to tackle this box and it ended up being my box of mugs. So today I think I'm going to start organizing them. I have this little coffee bar situation over here where I'm going to set up like my coffee, probably some sort of tea center as well. And so I thought it would be really fitting to to use one of these glass cabinets above me as my mug cabinet. I'm pretty sure there's another box somewhere with the rest of my mugs, but this is a good amount of them, so I figured I would just get started with that today. Here are the mugs I went ahead and unwrapped. I think I'm gonna put them up above in this far left cabinet. Eventually, I might get some sort of shelf liner just to keep things a little bit more intact, but I did a little wipe down of it and everything was pretty clean, so I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing these mugs now. Right now, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna take the mugs I use the most often and go ahead and stick those on the bottom shelf. And then as I go up, it'll be like mugs and glassware that I don't use as often. I think that just makes the most sense. So I've got some of my favorite mugs here. And then I also have one of my favorite mugs for steeping tea, which I know that I'm going to be using quite a bit. And then the second tier are mugs that I use also pretty often, but maybe not as often. I need to figure out where I'm going to be putting my seasonal mugs. I have this little candy cane one that I'm just going to flip the other way. I also have a Christmas tree one somewhere that I need to sort out, but I don't know where I'm going to put those or maybe if I'm just going to put them in a box until Christmas time. Here is what they look like all set up. I am so excited to be using these glass cabinets for something. Let me show you what it looks like with the doors closed as well. 
Here is what it's starting to look like. And then over here in these other cabinets, I'm gonna put the rest of my glassware, like my cups for iced coffee, water, and stuff like that. I don't know what I'm gonna be putting in this small little corner shelf quite yet, but it's just like this little triangle shelf. So I'm not really sure what will be going there quite yet. I did also stick my mocha pot right there. And then any other teapots that I get, I'm just gonna use for like these outer shelves. Now the counter itself is kind of tricky because I don't really love the look of this granite. I think it's a little bit Dated, but I could probably live with that. The real problem is the fact that I literally can never tell if it's dirty or clean or wet or dry. I've wiped this down so many times now and I feel like every single time I do it, I'm missing stuff to clean, if that makes sense. And so I definitely wanna figure out a situation where I can maybe do some sort of peel and stick on top of it. I ordered a little peel and stick countertop to try out. It's like a beigey cream color, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure if it'll be just too beigey creamy in the whole kitchen. The rest of the kitchen also has this counter top and then the same color of cabinets so i'm just looking to essentially do a little diy to replace this entire thing but obviously i'm trying to keep it pretty affordable so i think that peel and stick is going to be the way to go let me know if you have any color ideas or like maybe even patterns that you think would look good here i don't think i want to do white just because i feel like that might make it look too sterile and i just don't think it would really fit with this kitchen but i don't know if i should do some sort of like color backsplash to add a little pop of color or something but definitely let me know what you guys are thinking for the kitchen area as far as what's actually going to go on it, I know that I'm going to do some sort of like espresso machine in this area, hopefully. I just have to find one that A, I like, and B, I can justify the price for just because those things do get pretty pricey. And then I also know I'm probably going to put like an electric tea kettle or something here. And then I also got a box to store all my teas in that will probably go somewhere over here. But that is pretty much the home update of the day. I will check back in with you guys the next time we work on anything. Right now, I feel like I'm just so behind on work and school that I need to take a second and just regroup that area of my life before I continue any more home projects but I think the goal I set for myself is just to focus on one area of the home every day I think that'll be a really easy way for me to kind of get stuff done while still also focusing on everything else I've got going on so that is kind of the plan that we are working with right now I'm pretty sure we're gonna go pick up more of our stuff tomorrow and then we're also gonna be bringing my dog here for the first time he hasn't seen the place yet and so I'm excited to kind of introduce that to him and show you guys how he reacts I really don't know what he's gonna do yet I think we might pick him up some toys or something just to kind of lay them out in the living room for him but that's is kind of what we're thinking as far as the beginning of next week goes but yeah i will keep you guys posted i got a little bit more work done and i decided that we were going to try and tackle the closet as well today it's actually a really big closet and i'm really excited to actually get my stuff in there but the first thing we need to do is really give it a good wipe down honestly i've just been putting it off because it is one of those rooms that i know is going to be pretty dirty so i've got my cleaning supplies and i'm going to get in there and get that done today here is what the closet looks like i did a quick vacuum in here but nothing Thing too crazy. All of these shelves need to be wiped down and then I think eventually I'm going to change the light in here to be a little bit brighter since it's kind of too yellow toned for me. These are a few of the organizers I got. I got hangers for my pants, hangers for my clothes, like my shirts and tops and stuff, and then I've got a few different buckets in here that are actually for other areas of the home, but we've just been using the closet as like a drop space. Here is another thing I got to help me organize. I just got some storage baskets for this little area, and then I also got some shelf dividers that I'm going to like situate over here. I think this will be a really nice area for me to put like sweaters and jeans and anything that maybe I don't want to hang up. I also brought these little things. These are for belts and stuff. And so you can kind of like turn them around and hang up your belts up there. I have a shoe organizer I got that I need to just actually build that is going to go in this little section here. And the rest of the space is really just kind of open to whatever I decide to do with it. When my boyfriend and I started talking about the closet and how we were going to organize it, we really came to the conclusion that it'd be nice to be able to walk in to the closet and then kind of do a little circle when you're getting ready in the morning. So like I'll have tank tops and then t-shirts, long sleeves, jackets, sweaters and then like jeans and pants on the other side the thought process was that we'd be able to walk in and then get dressed in like a little clockwise motion so i'm thinking that that's what we're gonna go with just for now just because i feel like it's an easy way to start organizing i think i'm gonna do things by color and category so i'll organize all my tank tops t-shirts and stuff like that together and then break that down even further by color and stuff like that so that is kind of the general plan for organizing i also want to situate my robes somewhere where i can grab them every morning i don't I don't know if it's gonna be in that little area but I think it has to be just because my robes are all like longer ones and so it'll be nice to finally have a place to officially hang those up but yeah that is what we are currently working with let's go ahead and start with cleaning and then we can kind of start hanging stuff up
ever looking for a way to upgrade your closet in a really simple way, using these little velvet hangers have been such a game changer for me. I ended up giving my black ones to my boyfriend for him to use, and then I'm gonna be using these like cream color ones. I absolutely love these because A, your clothes never fall off, and B, I feel like it's really easy on the fabric. And I feel like having uniform hangers really makes your closet look a little bit upgraded. So that is kind of what we're working with there. I also got these boxes for things like my swimsuits, maybe socks and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and figure out a better place to put them. I don't love how it's kind of like overlapping here. I do like the color of them and I like that they have little handles as well so I can kind of move them around as I want. Originally my plan was to put them on this shelf. The plan at the beginning was not to put these baskets on this shelf but rather this one. But after I got those little dividers that I'm going to use for probably my pants and sweaters, I decided that these probably need a different place to go. I definitely still think that I'm going to be able to get use out of them even if I end up putting them in like the pantry or other parts of my bathroom. Really convenient just to be able to organize things away and I do like that they're kind of coordinated. So this is what we are working with now. I just threw a load of wash in so that everything I hang up is for sure clean. Kind of knew that end of moving I just threw everything into the same bucket so I'm just going to give everything a little wash before I hang it all up but I like this. I think it's going to come out really good. I honestly don't even know if I have enough clothes to even fit on any of that. I'm pretty sure I might even just start off using this side but it will be really nice to be able to space my clothes out and see everything separately so I can really focus on creating outfits that I feel good in. Good morning you guys. It's Monday morning and I had to show you guys what came in today. I got these curtains off of Amazon. They are double layered so there's like a secondary cream color behind them. I loved the green curtains that we had here previously but it didn't offer us a lot of privacy so we did end up changing to this and I'm actually really happy with how it came out. I can totally see how this room is going to come together and I've been obsessing over white curtains lately as you know from the bedroom. I think we're going to be putting the piano over there and then I need to get some sort of carpet for this area. I don't know exactly what color or pattern I want to get yet but I feel like this is a really good base to start with. Also the chandelier, are you kidding me? I think I'm going to go for a really romantic style kind of room for this dining room area. I don't know but I think this is a pretty good start with kind of what I'm thinking. It is 7.51 in the morning. We are about to head out to go to pick up my dog and the next time that we get back here he will be seeing the house for the first time. Good boy. It's your little moving tree. Go look. Go see. What do you think? Oh my god. What do you think, Willow? We just finished setting up our new couch. I ended up getting this one from Wayfair. It's like a green corduroy type material. Milo has already approved of it. I'm so glad that we actually got to make this couch today since Milo has been having a little bit of a hard time adjusting. But this is what she looks like. I am so happy with how it came out. It was honestly really easy to put together. It was just like a few main parts and then of course the couch cushions. I'll put the link to it down below in case you want to check it out. It was honestly pretty affordable compared to some of the other couches that I was looking at. The one thing I 
of note is that the color green that's shown is a little bit lighter than I think the actual couch looks like. So just a quick little note about that. But I am still really, really happy with how it came out. And I think it's going to make a really cool centerpiece for the living room. I also picked up this dog bed for Milo in case he wanted to have something soft to lay on. He's honestly just really used to sitting on carpet. And so the fact that we now have hard flooring has been a little bit different for him. But he's been on the bed and the couch now. And so I think he is going to be okay. Right now I'm just working on unboxing some of the stuff we brought over to the house yesterday. I have a bunch of random decor pieces, stuff for the kitchen, and I thought I would just kind of get a jump start on that today. I am very loosely organizing this, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to just kind of take everything out of these boxes, put it somewhere, and then start using these boxes again for some sort of storage. The other update I wanted to show you guys and ask you what you think is this peel and stick countertop. I honestly don't think it looks too bad. I think it might be a little bit too close to the actual color of the cabinets. Like, I don't like how that pretty much just looks like that. It's even closer in person, and so that is the only thing we're kind of looking at. This was like our trial run. We're not trying to do the rest of the kitchen yet. We would just want to focus on this first. That way we can use it as a reference point to see what actually looks good together. So this obviously won't happen when we do it for real, but I do think it's a good way just to get an idea of what it might end up looking like. Also, while we are on the topic of peel and stick, I want to ask you guys what you think about this combo. I am a little bit torn on it. This was just kind of something we put up just again so we can see what it would look like. Eventually, you know, we're going to redo the kitchen. So we're just looking for a solution for the right now. And when I look at the kitchen like this versus over there where it has like the granite all the way up and down, I really like how that green backdrop kind of breaks it up a little bit. I just don't know if the green is maybe a little bit too busy to combine with the granite or maybe the busyness of it kind of goes together. So I'm really not sure. I also tried a white subway tile look, but I didn't like that even more just because I feel like the white just kind of clashes with the kitchen too much. And I'm not really looking to replace the granite and that can seal it entirely. I'm just looking to enhance it and make it a little bit more cohesive. So right now I'm thinking I am going to stick with that, but definitely let me know what you guys think. I thought with decorations and stuff also on it, like let me turn this on. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of cozy. I think it makes the granite look a little bit nicer and it just kind of breaks up the super busy pattern. And it also adds a little bit of color to it, but also not too much at the same time. So I don't know. I think I kind of like it. We're also going to be doing that portion once we get more of the peel and stick that we bought. And then I also ordered a new outlet cover since I don't think the black is going to work for me. I got like a brushed bronze style look to it and I think it'll just bring a lot more warmth into the kitchen. And then after that, I know that we're probably going to be doing some sort of kitchen hardware. At least I think we are, but I'm just still not sure. I'm still thinking brushed bronze or gold or something like that just to kind of veer into the whole warm toned kitchen type thing. Especially since I don't know if you guys can tell, but this granite is not cool toned at all. It definitely has undertones of like brown and stuff. And so I do want to, again, just kind of lean into that and see if we can work with it. But honestly, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is kind of like, if you can picture it, that's kind of what it would look like versus that. Still undecided, but I think it might be something we might try out for a little bit. Hello, you guys, and good morning. I wanted to end off today's vlog by doing a little home update for you. Since that's kind of been the overall theme of this entire vlog, the first update is what we are looking at right now. And it's my little vanity slash getting ready corner. I've got this little floor cushion here that I've been sitting at to just kind of like do my makeup in the morning and get ready for the day. I've got some of my boxes and jewelry there too. And then this is kind of where I've been storing all of my makeup products. I know I mentioned this at some point, but I just don't remember when, but we are planning on doing a little raised platform here that will just kind of sit this whole area up a little bit. That way it'll look more like a separate area of the room instead of just like a place to sit on the floor. Pretty simple. I'm definitely going to try to find a mirror, hopefully if like an estate sale coming up, but just to put it behind either that mirror or in front of that one. I really like the look of layered mirrors. So that's kind of the vibe that we're going for over there. I showed you guys this at the end of my cleaning vlog, but in case you missed it, this is how the desk setup is looking. I got this desk from Living Spaces. And the reason I got it is because this middle section here actually pulls up. Honestly, that was a huge win for me because I do a lot of walking while working. I have like a little pad treadmill that I'm probably going to be setting up here soon. And the one thing I don't like about all of the desks that do raise up is that it raises up the entire desk. And I feel like for my decor and just keeping things easy, it was better for me to get one where it was just kind of one section that rises, if that makes sense. So that's why I decided on that one. This is the chair I got. It's from Amazon. I went with like a dusty pink type color. I was really just hoping that it would add a little bit of warmth to the area because honestly, this desk is a little bit darker than I 
initially thought it was gonna be. But I feel like with the plants and everything, it does make this space feel a little bit more warm and lively, which is definitely what I was going for. I've got my little plant in the corner along with some candles. My journal is kind of tucked in the back and then I just kind of put it all resting on one of my chest boards. Of course, you know, I've got my carpet mouse pad with me. I couldn't leave her behind. I love that thing. And then I've also got my little container here for all of my pens and stuff. On the side here, I just have a couple of books and then one of these like horse statues that I found in an estate sale. And then obviously my salt lamp in the corner. I knew that this space wouldn't be complete without it. Other updates are in the kitchen. So let's head over there. The biggest update to the kitchen is that we did end up going all the way with this peel and stick backsplash for the kitchen. It's essentially a vinyl type material, but it looks pretty glossy. So I think it looks good when you are like far away from it, like it has a shine to it. And then we also went ahead and replaced the outlet covers. They were black before, which I thought was just a little bit too harsh. So we went with like this brassy goldy tone. And then I just added some decor to the space. I do have like a little lamp that I'm gonna put back there, but it is currently charging. And then over here, you can kind of see that gloss and sheen of it again. I found this chessboard at Savers and it kind of functions as like a cooking board, but we're not gonna be using it for that, just for decor. And then I've just stacked up a few of our most used seasonings right there as well. These outlet covers actually came in a few different sizes. So we are gonna end up switching out more of them in the kitchen to kind of match the same vibe. And then the last thing we added was our little salt and pepper shakers, which I think are just super cute. They're like two peas in a pod. So I thought that would be a cute little addition for our stovetop area. And then here is what our coffee bar is looking like. I had this desk mat that I wasn't going to be using for the desk anymore. And I thought it would be kind of a cute way to add a mat for making coffee and stuff. And then eventually I'm going to have my coffee maker actually go in that section. But this is kind of what we are working with. I also got this tea organizer. I've yet to fill it up, but it does fit eight different types of teas. So I'm excited to just kind of have that there and have this little section be my little coffee slash tea bar area. We also were finally able to move this piece from the other home. You guys know that I found this at an estate sale a few weeks ago, honestly even months at this point, but I absolutely love this piece. Because of the window, I feel like you guys can't see it super clearly, but I'll try to brighten it up if I can. I just think it's gonna be a really fun area for me to either make drinks, maybe I do like a little bar cart situation on the ends, and then I'm probably just gonna put some books and plants on top of it to just kind of add to the whole living room space. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog, you guys. It has been such a roller coaster of emotions, and there has just been so much going on for the past week of us finally getting settled in here. I really just start making this place into somewhere that I feel super comfortable, that feels like it's a reflection of myself, and I'm really excited just to be sharing the whole journey with you guys. Right now I'm currently looking out into the backyard, and I know that that's going to be the next thing that we are probably going to try to tackle. We've already had some help with getting things cleared out, and now it's really going to be about customizing it, and ideally adding some native plants that will be really good for the space, but also safe for my dogs. That's kind of what we're thinking with that. The fig tree is so, so beautiful. There's two of them back there, and they're both just now starting to bloom. So I'm excited to be able to look out my window every day and see that. It's just been really, really special. I think this is going to be the final episode of my moving diaries. It has been such an experience being able to show you guys from packing up my loft to touring the new home to getting it clean and now to finally settling in. Again, it's just been such a roller coaster and I'm so happy that you guys are here for the ride. I'm also really excited because this space feels like such a blank canvas for me. So I'm having just so much fun being able to go around, customize things, and again, just make this place feel like my home. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you want to see more like it, feel free to like and subscribe if you're new. I post new videos every Friday and Sunday so you guys can tune back in then for some new content. And let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see home projects, if you want more longer vlogs. So definitely let me know what you guys want to see and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys.